Hey everyone, well it's been an especially violent and confrontational week, but luckily today is St Patrick's Day when we can forget about everything as we sip on a pint of Guinness and contemplate Ireland's long and famously violence-free history. Joke for y'all, what do you call a bulletproof Irishman? Answer, ricochet. Anyway, for now I'll stop, or should I say backstop, because I suppose we should get back to the Brexit news. This week saw Theresa May return to Westminster to have a second go at passing her Brexit bill, and the result was exactly the same as the first time around, an irony seemingly lost on those wanting a second referendum. In the process, nothing was really achieved, although a few more MPs gave up any last vestiges of hope in either May or Corbyn, and Nick Bowles actually quit his local constituency party. The lesson there is presumably that he thinks it's better to quit an organisation than to remain inside it and reform it from within. I would say that's a definition of irony, although surely the definition of irony is not knowing the difference between a definition and an example. Anyway, the next stop in Brexit now is when Theresa May goes to Brussels to ask for an extension to the talks, and if any one of those 27 countries says no, then it will be a WTO rules exit in two weeks' time, and those wishing to remain will for once be the ones putting the blame on the East Europeans, or whoever it was that refused to kneel before Brussels' demands. The other main story of the week was, of course, the shooting in New Zealand. One of the victims was overheard telling the assassins to, quote, stop, brother, to which the response was seemingly to point out that bit in the Quran where the Cain and Abel story takes place. Uh, there's probably a joke in there about the IEDs of March in there too, but you know, I think I'll just stop for now, it's poor taste. You know, if we have to finish up on a light-hearted note, I did read a story this week about a prison officer who'd been discovered to be having a relationship with an inmate and was sentenced by a judge to four years in prison. You know, I'm not sure that's a particularly good deterrent. Anyway, have a St. Patrick's Day, y'all. See you next week. If you like these, please subscribe.